Hey guys, this is German Eagle. Uh, we are back. <coughs> Sorry about that. I looked around at the time frame that I, I had for the first episode, for first part of this episode, and it was just it wasn't long enough to do uh, three or four parts on it. Uh, not like the other two were. And I'm also trying to do 30 minute, <coughs> excuse me, at least 30 minute intervals on this now as I got everything straightened out with YouTube. I actually have the first part of this episode already uploaded. Uh, of course, this is the uh, following day. Uh, I did go to work. I made it on time. Had no problems. And uh, everything turned out pretty well. I actually got my uh, checking account, or my bank account anyway, uh, actually started today. So things are going pretty good. I have today off, so and it's devoted to you guys. Or at least till you know, I decided to go do something else. Anyway, uh, last time we left off, uh, Napoleon and uh, 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 Jenny, Audrey, whoever, how you say his name, uh, they were both attacking Peron. Uh, kind of would like to go ahead and hurry up and get to Cloggenfoot, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, excuse me, go ahead and take the assault. Oh yeah, that would be pretty easy. I don't know if you guys got a good look at that, but I, all I saw was uh, the general, some cavalry, some artillery, a uh, bunch of German fusiliers, and then of course the armed citizenry, which will break, flee, and panic. And they won't stop us, so it be a pretty, pretty quick battle, especially with Napoleon's main uh, army and then the supporting army, which uh, looks like Napoleon... Yeah, Napoleon's army will come up from the front. The supporting army will come around from the side, providing they come from this direction. Uh, if they come from this direction, obviously we'll still have them do support. If they come up from the back, we'll just have them try to sneak around and attack. If not, then they'll just be in support. Um, let all brave Prussians follow me. Uh, we will have to do a Prussian campaign. I've played the Prussian campaign before. It is kind of hard. But yet, it's it's fun. I actually have a British campaign I need to finish. Yeah, like, I don't know, like almost, like two or three settlements left I have to take. Alrighty. There's the Austrian line. Put the artillery up here. Get our fusiliers. And they will be the very front of the army. Well, not technically true, because the Chachers will be the very front of the army, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, great. My computer froze. Alright. That was a little bit, a little bit tricky. Oh, stop it. There we go. All right, Chachers are now in place. Let me see. Oh wow. Uh, no thanks. Really, you got the Revolutionary Infantry. Not what I wanted. Okay, we're gonna put them pretty much dead center of the Chachers. Now the Revolutionary Infantry can do the flank. Uh, National Guard and them can be on this flank. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll put them in place of guarding cannon. And Napoleon! Oh no, those are my grenadiers. Uh, grenadiers can go over here. Napoleon. Alrighty. Play the battle music.
have to move them slightly around. Oh man. Seriously, I did this weird. Yeah, we'll just put them up to there now. Looks like they're coming to meet us. And we gotta be ready for them. Supporting armies coming up almost from the rear. So well. Actually, these two characters can go ahead and come down here. We're gonna, probably not going to even need the reserve fusiliers, but just to be safe. Uh oh. Gotta deal with that little threat. Yeah, pretty much looks like they're coming to engage us. Uh, pretty much flat terrain. I may have the advantage in a few places, they may have the advantage in a few others. However, our artillery are hitting them. Which is good, actually keep that artillery focused on theirs. Harm citizenry, they're not even going to stand a chance. Just go home. Go away. You're gonna get yourselves killed, guys! My Frenchmen are far better than you are. That was kind of loud, especially for uh, headphones. Yeah, they're gone. They're almost, they're all, wow, they're already down to 80. From 120 to 80. Of course, my Chachers have only taken very few hits. Pretty much all my guys are perfectly fine. I wish I could put some pikes out for that cavalry, but no, I can't. That's why we have reserve infantry. Once we clean up a little bit of their cavalry, we'll swing these guys over to cause a flank maneuver. Why are they getting hit? Okay. Awkward. Oh, no, there's another bit of artillery. We can probably hit them a little bit better. We're going to pull in a little bit more down into the valley. Armed citizenry already eradicated. You guys can go here. Grenadiers are taking a little bit of a pounding from them. Not much. They'll be gone before the Grenadiers are even in danger. They're reforming their lines. Yep, they're gone. However, we will reform our grenadiers just a little bit. Cavalry already already together. That's the reserve general, I think. 
Marshall Ney wore his hat like that all the time. I don't know why. And of course, Napoleon. Well, there he is. No, Marshall Ney wore his hat like that all the time. I don't know why he did that. All right, they're retreating. Well, they're not retreating, they're just falling back. We'll move our men forward. Who is running? Pull one of our cavalry around. Ah, oh, crap. Did not see that. Oh, well, they'll be gone in a second or two. Chachers, however, are taking a little bit of beating from it. is already pretty well gone. Off everyone's in guard formation. You guys can go cut them down. Oh, they're gone. No really need. And I just got a text. too close to this Fusiliers. We'll keep the cavalry on the flanks though, however, since they have no more cav. I'm gonna snake these guys behind here. Keep up the fire, men. Keep up the fire. This whole flank needs to move up. Generals, go ahead and move up. Our citizen tree is almost gone. They're just getting hammered. Keep up the artillery fire on the, them. Pull these cavalry around. Bye bye guys. They start shooting. Not yet. Almost, just not yet. Oh, 
they're good. Group one is good. Try getting them to shoot them. Pull them around. Generals on this side. Little bit out of fire. Surprised the house hadn't exploded by now. Uh oh, they're trying to unlimber. Come on, guys, need to hurry. There we go. You guys have the idea. Let's try to hit that general. Say goodbye. Oh, crap. Alright, pull the cover out of there. They're no good to me dead. General is under attack. By artillery. Get out of there. Generals are safe. this group then. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Keep it up. Victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. Go ahead and limber the guns. And there they go. The city of Pramon is ours. That is that. We didn't lose anyone. Didn't even need the reinforcing army. Well, I mean, the extra cavalry helped, and the other general, of course, helped. Uh, but in truth, we really didn't even need the uh, support. Oh, well, just another little thing. Just another little bit of help. Alrighty. Alrighty, peacefully occupy. That's that for now. General Andre Monsieur will move his regiment 
actually over to Morden. Uh, Napoleon will regroup his strength and will prepare to take Mantra. After that, we'll have to do some negotiating with either uh, Vienna or the Palpa states. Well, actually, it will have to be Vienna to allow us to go on because uh, they happen to own the rest of the territory that well that we need to cross. Is there any way we can appease them? Mantrar, uh, that's it. No, no help on getting through the Venetians. Speaking of which, can we trade with them? Not yet. Who would be actually willing? Well, let's not do it yet. Not until we're good and ready. Hopefully this modern isn't really defended. A little bit, not much though. Capture the city, uh, uh, okay. It's got a light garrison. Not much, though. Yeah, it's not much. Especially with our fusiliers, we can easily take them. Alright, we'll wait, and we will attack them, just not yet. Yeah, we can. Alright. Um, da, 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 da. Upper house means we need some militia. So, whoops. We'll wait one, possibly two turns, then we'll take uh, Mantua. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next battle of Morden which will allow us a little bit more territory down in Italy. I don't think we end up having to deal, hopefully we won't have to deal with anybody else, minus the Austrians, because they only have one, two, uh, three settlements. So after we take Mantua, hopefully we can get Napoleon's army into uh, Tridden, which then he will march to Klagenfurt, and then our reinforcing army will march to Innsbruck. Alright, this will be the fourth battle of episode two. Wow, they got a slight chance on us, but no matter, we'll be okay. So, this will be the fourth battle of episode two. Uh, and then after this battle, I'll probably go ahead and stop the, uh, stop the episode.